Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming in. In this episode, we are going to make our first solar panel, and um, then we're probably going to have to take a trip out into the desert to look for some more ore because I'm not going to have enough to make, also make uh, the the drill itself. Um, so I got 17 more electronics in there, plus we have what we have uh, in here, so we can now make the first solar panel. So let's do that right now. All right, and then for the deep mining drill, um, we just need to come up with another 12 electronics, but I am uh, seriously low on copper. I mean, I'm, I have almost no copper left at all, in fact. So I did find uh, another mine right up here. Um, and it was loaded with iron, but it only had two copper nodes in it, which was very disappointing. And I would have preferred that it was loaded with copper, but it wasn't. There was no um, titanium in there either, uh, but there was like three or four platinum nodes. So <coughs> that's, uh, <coughs> excuse me, kind of where we are at the moment. As you can see on my toolbar, I have berry pie and veggie pie, um, but I can't make the meat pie until we can come across some mushrooms, which... Um, typically, you can't find those until you go into the Arctic biome. Uh, they're in the caves. So let's go ahead and look at. Oh man, I am so close to leveling. Um, yeah. Well, here. Let's just, let's look anyway. So we got some talents. Uh, one talent point. We'll go to habitation, and I'm going to put that in uh, creature stamina. And we should get at least three more talent points before we hit level 50, and that's when they stop. So I'll probably put two in here for weight capacity, and then... You know, this wouldn't be bad, actually, if we're taking, if we're taking our critter into the desert and we stay mounted as much as possible. That would reduce our water loss. So I might have to think about that. A little bit more as far as tech tree goes we have three points and uh, so we were gonna I wanted to for sure get the basic ceiling light oh for Pete's sake they're gonna make me learn the wall light first oh man all right well I guess it's not the end of the world because here again we can um, we'll eventually have enough points to do everything okay so that leaves us one point left then I'm tempted to actually get the platinum sickle because I'm still using the, the bone sickle. Um, I have tons of platinum, uh, but I don't really want to. I don't want to do the um, the titanium uh, sickle just because titanium is so precious right at the moment. Um, we could do berry jam too. Ooh, this would be good for taking into the desert too. Minus 20% water consumption. <clears throat> Smoke grenade, frag grenade, dehumidifier. There's that fire. You know, I wonder if we should learn the fire extinguisher and, and next time we get a forest fire. Oh, no, no, no. This is what we need to do. We need to learn the electric. Um, oh, we already learned the electric textiles bench. Oh, we need to make that sucker then. <laughs> Nuts. You know what? I should have um, probably should have made that before we made the solar panels. Shoot. <laughs> then we could have made this armor and brought the good armor into the desert, but oh well We'll be fine, especially if I break bring those bandages with us um, so Okay, well, I guess there's not much to do until this storm gets over so um, It's also kind of getting on in the day too, isn't it? And we have that platinum more there I might I might go out and just, I don't know, cut some wood or just do a little bit of gathering just to get the next level too. And then, well, here, we need, let's go back here for a second. Okay, we don't need electronics to make the light, oh, but we need copper ingots though. Oh my goodness, All right, yeah. <laughs> Tin, in fact. Wow, that's expensive. Well, we're not making that then either. <laughs> not until we get more copper. So copper's going to kind of be the bane of our existence until 
we can get a drill set up um, on a copper node. So yeah, maybe then back to plan A. I think I'll just go out and do a little more gathering for the rest of this day, hit that next level, and then tomorrow morning, I will meet you guys with Buddy. We're taking the buffalo this time uh, at, in the desert, and we're gonna go look for some more caves. Um, better eat some more pie before they go bad. Okay, so yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning in the desert. All right, guys, we are just about ready to enter the desert here. Um, let's eat these two pieces of pie before they go bad. And um, I left one copper node in here, which is very good news. So we're gonna grab that. We're after copper and titanium. Um, there's still actually quite a bit of um, iron left in this cave. Uh, which way am I going? I'm going this way. Uh, I, for, I forgot I didn't get all the iron out of here, but I have mined everything else out of this cave, except for that one thing of copper, which we just found, which is good. Okay. So last time we were here in the desert, we went along that wall. I think we're going to do the opposite this time. We're going to go along this wall and um, <clears throat> start looking for more caves. And I have quite a bit more... Um, I guess I don't have quite a bit more ammo. I made some more ammo and I forgot to grab it. That's so like me. <laughs> Dead gummit. Um, but we do have the, the cooling bandages, so that's going to really make the difference between this time and last time. I also brought an extra bedroll and a fire uh, campfire with me so we can sleep in a cave um, if we're out, you know, by as late as nightfall and move it right back to morning again. So I don't know how long we'll be here. That remains to be seen. Here's a something here that looks like coal. I'm almost positive that's coal. Yeah, that is. Okay. So let's just kind of cruise around and see what we can see here on this side of the map. And is that a cave right there? No, it's not. Okay. So I decided to bring... Buddy this time just because he's got a lot more carrying capacity than than Liberty Mutual does and he's a little tougher too And I want to bring back as much copper as possible So that we can make the those tools now once we can get a drill on a copper node At least we'll have a steady supply of it. It's not gonna be a ton, but it'll be a steady supply Because <coughs> right now we don't have any supply of copper Um, I'm tempted to Take out the elephants for XP. Oh, speaking of XP, we have um, another talent point, and we have a solo talent point. So the solo talent point, um, I'm going to put into this, because um, we can use that right here and now. And that's, now we're 20% less water, food, and oxygen consumption. And then for this talent, back to habitation, we were... Um, I was thinking about doing this, because if I'm staying on, well... Stamina. Now I want I want the stamina region first, but I might actually put we have two more points coming. I might actually put the last two points into that. Uh, we'll see. It definitely is gonna be beneficial. Oh, there's a cougar right there. Oh my goodness, lag. How did that cougar not detect us? I don't know, but he didn't, so <laughs> um I can't remember what I was saying. I think I was talking about putting the points into the stamina so that when we're riding you know we'll have um even less water consumption it'll be great for these desert trips for sure that scorpion's gonna aggro on us no man what's how come nothing's aggroing today oh i see a cave across the way there scorpions are all over the place i'm just kind of waiting for buddy stamina to come back and then we're gonna sprint over across the way there to that cave Okay, let's go. Across the desert sands. We're not, uh, we're not actually getting hot at the moment either, which is interesting. Well, we are getting hot, I mean, but we don't have a, any kind of a buff yet. I thought I saw a cave. Yeah, there's a cave straight ahead. 
Hopefully this one is loaded with copper. That's what we need. And of course, we'll take titanium as well. We're really doing pretty good on just about everything else. It's just those two. And it looks like there's also a cave. Well, we've been to that cave though. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's the cave we were in last time. So that's not. Well, you know what though? I don't. I may not. I may not have mined any copper out of there because we were looking for titanium at the time. So we probably should go check that cave too. Now that I think about it. Okay, let's park Buddy there for a moment. Wait a minute. Oh, I was thinking that was the cave and then we had to break into it. Okay, no, let's bring him at least into the mouth of the cave. I don't want him too far out here. I have a feeling like this is probably a small cave. Okay, yeah, so we have some titanium and some copper in here. That's good. All right, let's bring him in at least that far. His health is 100%, so he's good. Oh, good. I'm seeing a few copper nodes in here. That is very good. Okay, so... You all right, man? Well, you're kind of hungry, aren't you? We should probably take care of that. I brought some berries along to feed him. Um, so... Just get his get his food topped off there. And we're thirsty. Let's drink this water so we don't get parasite. Oh, there's another titanium node. Fantastic. Hey, hold still while I'm feeding you. <laughs> He's like all squirrely. Okay, good. He's in 100% food. All right, let's grab the titanium and the copper first. And then depending upon how our weight situation goes, we might grab the other stuff too, but... We don't really need iron at the moment. We have a pretty decent supply of it, and we still have a bunch of iron in the pass cave too. So we're really just after the copper, titanium, and... I'll take aluminum and platinum too if we come across it. Just because they're rarer ores. Uh, definitely don't need coal. Uh, let's wait on the platinum though first. I want to make sure we get all of the copper and titanium. We should be able to though. I don't think we'll have any trouble with that, but we'll do it anyway. Okay, I think that gets all of the titanium and copper. Here's an aluminum, but let's let's load up Buddy first. Titanium's gonna be the heaviest. And then he can carry all that copper. And then I still have all of my inventory space for ore. So we'll grab the aluminum and we'll grab that platinum. What's that? That's silica. We have one of those actually really close to our house. Um if if and when we ever need to put a drill on it that one will be nice and close by all right i think we're done here we can leave the rest of this stuff for possibly sometime in the future uh what time is it it's only 12 30 yes let's go let's see if we can find one more cave since we still have what i uh, still have half the day left and i still have room in my inventory for more ore Okay, so while we're kind of at a distance here, I'm just kind of scanning the cliffside over up that way to see if I can see any openings. <laughs> this kind of drops down over here, so can't really see it till we get over here. Is it possible? 
that that's a cave dead ahead with a wall that we would have to break? <coughs> I don't know. Let's go investigate. Okay, let's hop off of him. Is he following us? Don't get too far away from me, man. Yes, this is a cave. Fantastic. All right, let's punch a hole through in here and go take a look. With any luck, this will be a large cave with lots of copper and titanium in it. All right, that's probably enough room for him to fit through there. <clears throat> um, let's just get rid of this stone. We don't need it. Okay, let's go on inside, bud. And get ready to fight some wormies. <clears throat> bit bigger than the other one, at least. Oh, let's go one over here. Where's that other one at? It's shooting up here. Oh, it's right there. We would definitely want to make sure we recover our composite arrows, and I shot one into the wall there. Did that really break? It's possible. It's got a 5% chance to break. 19, yeah, we must have broken an arrow. That sucks. This is a sulfur deposit. Um, yeah, there's definitely no arrow in there. Okay, so we can't put anything more into Buddy. So let's prioritize probably copper even over titanium at this point. This is copper that we are seriously low on. I'm going to leave that platinum there. That's an iron node. Oh, this cave kind of sucks. There's only two copper nodes in the whole doggone thing. Oh well. That should be enough, though, for us to, to make the drill. Um, but we need to make the drill, and we also need to make the electric... the electric um, textile station to make our, our high-end armor. So there's two platinum nodes. We just don't need that right now. And it's heavy, so I think I'm going to leave it there. There's three platinum nodes in here. <laughs> okay, well, that could have been better. How much copper do we have now? We've got 60 in my inventory and 2, 3, 4, 200. We have about 300 copper-ish. <laughs> so that's going to translate into 150 ingots. Okay, that's a pretty decent amount. I think it's enough for us to do what we need to do. And it's almost 2 p.m. in the afternoon. So it's probably a little bit late for us to be continuing our exploration here in the desert. Poisoned. Oh, I don't know if I'm actually poisoned or... Yeah, there's a bug where some sometimes those debuffs don't go away. Um, let's kill this elephant for some XP. What's that noise? Oh, there's a scorp right there. Okay. Oh, we killed the scorpion. How funny. Oh, come on. <laughs> That's a little ridiculous. I'm not even aiming at those things. All right, that should be shooting that elephant right in the butt. Oh! not that far out of range. Hmm. He must be out of range. 
Doesn't make much sense to me, but whatever. Okay, well, we'll get the giblets off of these guys. The bones in particular is what I want, because we need epoxy like crazy, too. And it looks like we got a pig coming to investigate. back. Get a little bacon too. Okay. Well, in real life we would have hit that elephant, but this of course is not real life. So let's grab our buffalo and start heading on back. So yeah, um, I'll just meet you guys back at the base, and uh, I'll probably go back to the base, get the, those electronics made up, and then when we're ready to make the drill, and hopefully the textiles bench, I'll bring you guys back at that point. Alright guys, we are back, and uh, we have this much copper that we have been able to smelt up, and so we're going to put um, all but one well here let's grab the wood out of there and then i can make we can make 25 more electronics so let's get those going i'll put the other couple pieces of copper in here and uh then when those electronics are done oh we got another level two we are level 49 look at that fantastic let's see we smelt it up um we got 12 more titanium in here, and I did a little more gold and stuff too. Let's deactivate that because it's not doing anything. We're going to need that steel for uh, for something, I think, the, the bench that we were going to do. And then we have a little more iron going on in there too. Okay, so let's see how we got 25 more electronics. So we need to make the deep mining drill next and we need some more aluminum for that we should have plenty of aluminum right okay and there we go okay so now we have the deep mining drill and we have the solar panel let's put this titanium in there uh, now we want to make the electric textiles bench and we have enough electronics. We just need some concrete and 30 steel. Um, so let's go ahead and split that stack. That gives us our 30 steel there. And um, what else did it say it needed? Oh, concrete. Yeah, we've got that upstairs. Maybe we don't have that upstairs, but we can make it. Let's just make as much as we can there. I have have concrete in here, though, I think. Um, oh, maybe I don't. Okay, the little bit I have is in here, so we just have to wait for more of that to cook up. You know, I was looking at this hydroponics uh, crop plot. Man, that thing's expensive. Goodness gracious, 20 composites to make that thing? 25 steel and 10 electronics. <clears throat> Yowzers. Okay. I don't think we'll be making that anytime soon. Um, so, let's see here. We need to make the water pump and the water pipe, but the electric textiles, the textiles bench has a higher priority. So we just need two more concretes from here. And we got five, that'll do it. Okay, let's make the electric textiles bench. And then we will see what is required for us to make our... Oh, I guess I have some more copper in here too. Um, I'll tell you what, let's put that stuff in here. And, uh, 
For the textiles bench, we're going to put that upstairs, and it needs to be by power, or have power. Um, so maybe what we'll do is we'll... That thing's pretty big, isn't it? It's bigger... Oh, it's about the same size as that one. Okay, so what we could do then is... Take this one, maybe, and move it over to that wall, just so I don't have to run a, a bunch of long power over there. Well, we do need to run it off of this Jenny, though. Um, all right, here, let's just do this. Thing. Let's pick up this bedroll, and I'm going to put it here and hopefully it's still close enough to the fire if it's not then I'll move it later because if we're going to use that generator it makes the most sense to put this bench right next to it anyway all right so let's make sure we're pointing due south on the compass and out a little bit so it's not clipping there we go okay and then we're going to have to connect. Alright, we might have to do this from down below. So, what we're going to do is we're going to... Delete that. We'll make a connection. Whoops. And then just have that come like right to here. And then we can do another one over right here. Like that. And then, not exactly sure where this is going to connect up above, but what we'll do is try and make it look good. So we'll go that way. No, that's too far. Right again. Let's go right about here. Even that's too far. got a bigger curve on it than I'm expecting. So let's try here and then we'll curve it to here maybe. And then run that up. The bench. Okay. <coughs> that requires 2,500 power yowzers. Oh yeah, that's right. No, 2,500. Yeah, that's exactly half of what the generator can do. Okay, so... Oh, you can make all the armor stuff in here. How about that? Okay, that means we don't even need these benches any longer. I think I'll leave them there for now, but if we need it more room for later on, we can take them down. Of course, those benches don't require power is the nice thing about them. If I wanted to, you know, take my extra leather and make rope, for example. Okay, so now composite chest. We are going to need carbon fiber, steel screw, composites, and aluminum. So let's just go grab a bunch of those things. I'm going to just grab all of my carbon fiber, or I mean uh, composites. Maybe two stacks of those. Let's make some steel screws in here. make a stack of a hundred and I have some aluminum in here let's grab that aluminum and I should have aluminum in here yeah we got lots of aluminum I don't remember how much it said it needed so we'll just grab that much okay put all this stuff in here and let's make the chest piece first and we'll make the legs and the helmet 
and the feet and the gloves and we had enough to do it fantastic okay so let's take a look at this currently oh wait, well, let's get it out of there first okay so currently <laughs> We have um, 53 melee resistance, but we also have some buffs going on. And <clears throat> I'm, a, I'm in particular interested in heat resistance and maybe exposure, but mainly in heat. So 53 and 22 with our current getup. Okay, so now... Pause. Okay, now we are 59 and 50. Wow, that's huge. That's a huge improvement in both our physical resistance and our heat resistance. And I'm sure, you know, the cold and all that other stuff, um, and exposure too, <clears throat> went up almost 10 points. So significant improvement all the way around. I love it. I love it. Okay. We're gonna put this set of armor in here. Oh, why is my backpack? Oh, because I, I think I accidentally took it off. Um, we'll put that armor back in there. We don't really need this older armor, but I guess we'll just store it for now. I like to keep one tier back just as a backup in case we die or something and need to run back somewhere. <laughs> okay, that's a huge improvement, you guys. We are now in the top end composite armor in the game and significantly tougher uh, both melee wise and weather weather wise than what we were before love it absolutely love it what's the bonus on these it is 15 percent health regeneration and 15 percent stamina regeneration okay so those that's the bonus that we get we're wearing the whole set Let's put these things back in here. And we're done with the le electricity tool, so we'll put that back in there, too. <coughs> okay, so, um, what we're going to do now is we're going to run out. What time is it? Yeah, we got time. We're going to run out and set up. Oh, we're going to need the electricity tool, actually. Glad I remembered. I would have been very irritated if I would have run all the way out there and not brought it with us. Um, oh, come on. Really? At least it's a flash storm. It won't last too long. So, um, over in, I actually even wrote this down, over in 07, on the very west end of 07, so right about here, there's a copper deposit. And I think that's the closest one to us, unless, I can't remember what deposit's in this cave that's right over here, so we should check that first. I'm almost positive that our original cave where we first started this series has an iron deposit in it which we'll probably tap into at some point um but this copper deposit is outside and i think i'm not positive but i think critters can attack might attack it um and if that's the case you know what else i'm gonna do uh, let's grab all of this back out of here because we may never actually use this thing again. And we'll put all this back in the fabricator. So I want to make a gate and two of those palisade walls to help protect it. Um, I don't think we have any of those already made up. Alright, so we're going to need... Some rope and some iron ingots. Let's put a couple of iron ingots in here. And I have quite a bit of rope up in here. Let's actually get another. I've got so much leather. I mean, I know it's cheaper to use fiber, but I've got so much leather, we might as well turn that into rope. Okay, so let's make one gate and then I want to make two walls and we'll put like a little triangular um, enclosure around it so we need to make 20 iron nails here
Okay, so we'll make two of these. Oh, oh, we need more nails. be a lot heavier than they are but I'm not complaining either okay let's top off our water here and we will bring some berry pies and some veggie pies with us I'm just going to eat them now because I don't want to forget and then have, have them go bad. Yeah, let's take a drink of water too. Alright, I think we're ready to set out. They're not doing anything. And why don't we also turn this generator off just to save some fuel. We got to keep the other one running all the time though because it's running the refrigerator. And we're gonna take we're gonna take Liberty Mutual. Where the heck is he at? Oh, he's way back here, stuck. It's a good thing he's not getting hurt. Uh, so we'll just take him so we can move fast. Oh, he's low on food. All right. Uh, yeah, we gotta feed these guys. Been so busy doing stuff in the house, I haven't been paying a whole lot of attention to them. Uh, what do I have the most of? We've got a bunch of pumpkins. Let's give them... Yeah, let's just give them all those pumpkins there. In fact, since I'm taking Liberty Mutual out, I'm going to hand feed him. But he's got a lot more food. Where are you going, man? Where did he go? Oh, he's right here. Okay. Oh yeah, that fills him up quickly. Very nice. All right, we'll put the rest in here so Buddy can eat too. I'm just dropping that on the ground. Okay, let's go. There's a jaguar over that way. <clears throat> Let's see if we can just avoid him. I'm gonna mess with him right now. Come on, leg. Cut it out. Does that really weird graphics glitch thing with my armor. Alright, so we're gonna run over to... Uh, well, actually, first we're gonna run over to this cave, but I just wanna check what the deposit is inside of it, because again, I don't remember what it was. If it even has one at all. I think it does. Can you go through the door? Uh, not really. Uh -oh. <laughs> Hopefully we didn't get stuck in here. Um, That's not good. Can I pop off of him? Yeah. Can he just come through on his own? We might have to dig him out. That's, yeah. Okay, here. Where is this guy at? There he is. He missed me. I mean, he got me. back 
Yeah, that looks... That's either gold or sulfur. I think it's gold, which is good. Because we may very well need that, too, but... Uh, yeah, let's gold the puzzle. Okay. Uh, we just don't need it right now. Alright. I don't like... Leaving him out there. Like that. I should not be doing that because that's exactly what happens when he gets killed. It's stupid stuff like that. So let's get back out there. In fact, if something was attacking them now, I might not be able to do anything anyways. Okay, so let's cut him out of here. Okay. Can you come this way? Okay, good. Now, stay there. Let's, all right, let's just get out of here. Why does that damn worm keep coming back? It's probably because I went out of the cave. Okay, let's run over to the spot where the where I know we have copper. I wonder what's in that <coughs> that other cave that's over by the Arctic biome. I don't remember. Um, I mean, it would be better if we could put these in a cave because then we don't have to worry about animals attacking. We have to deal with the worms every time we go in, but that's not that big of a deal. What kind of storm is this? Eh, it's a damn thunderstorm. Really? Really, game? Um. Yeah, let's just let's just run over there and check that real quick. Since we're on liberty, we can move pretty quickly. Just a little bit further. That's good. Um, I'm not even sure if there's actually one even in here. I don't remember. For Pete's sake, how many of you are there? A ton of worms in here. way the heck up there. Yeah, this, uh, this cave probably doesn't have one, I'm thinking. Because it doesn't really have that flat area that you usually would see them in. Check this guy's spitball because I want my arrow back. Okay, so yeah, I'm I'm gonna say this cave doesn't have one. If it did, it would be probably down here in the water. And I am not seeing anything that looks like a deposit in this water. Okay, well, we'll wait for this storm to pass, and then we'll head over to the copper spot. Okay, the red part of the storm's done. Let's just make a run for it here. Hopefully we don't get zapped by lightning. Okay, we do want to be careful of crocodiles because we're really close to the water here. 
But that copper note should be right around in here. Let's look at the map again. Oh yeah, it's going to be just right over here. Here we go. Liberty Mutual, I want you to come over here and probably better keep you on follow just in case you try and wander too far. Let's get this out of the way. A bit of a problem. Hmm. Well, it's going to kind of triangle it in here, but I don't know if that's going to let me. that closer anyway. Um, hmm. Okay, well, maybe I can't do this. Just because of the angle of the ground. Pick this back up. You know what I need I should do first anyways is put the let's put the drill on it. Um, all right, and then I have no idea if the animals will attack the solar panel. So I don't know if the sun rises in the east and settles in the west in Icarus or not. It looks like it probably does because it's right over in the western part of the sky. And I, I believe we do need to factor that in. And I'm not sure, you know, if it matters. It, oh, shit. It has to be in... Oh, I thought I heard something attacking him. We should actually get rid of this, because that's going to attract predators. Well, I'm just going to set it here, and maybe, I don't know, we'll face it this way. And we'll just have to see if that works at all. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Um, so we might come to... Bring that there, and then... Right about here, and then to that. And of course, it's not going to run at nighttime either. But the good news is it's faster than the biofuel drill, and I don't need to come out and refuel it if this if this ends up working okay. And I guess I don't activate it. It just it'll just activate when the sun comes up. All right, let's just mess with this a little bit more. How close can I get this? Yeah, it's about as close as I can get the wall to that. But if I try and wrap it around this way, it says too far. Oh, it turned green for a second, right in here somewhere. Oh, oh, 
Okay, yeah, right there. Come on, get up on the hill. Alright, can I attach that to there and swing it this way? Uh-uh. What about attach to there and swing it this way? Uh-uh. Alright, what about make it freestanding? Yeah, I don't know. Does it tell us that animals will attack this? Maybe they don't. I, I just don't know if they do or not. A convenient drilling device that runs on electricity. It doesn't say anything about animals attacking it. Set it and forget it, it says. <laughs> um, whereas the vapor condenser, it specifically says, warning attracts creatures while active. And I believe the extractor does the same thing. Nine percent. So I guess we'll just leave it out in the open and see, you know, see what happens with it. This will generate at least twenty-five hundred watts, right? Oh, yeah, it'll do five thousand watts. Okay. All right. Well, only time will tell. Um, you know, we'll come back. I guess there's not really much point in putting these walls here if we can't completely enclose this. So, yeah, I'll come back and check this in a few days. Just let it, you know, let it run for a while and see if it's, if I feel like it's, if it's working okay. If we have, you know, two nuggets of ore in there, that means it was, well, there's probably more than two, but, you know, if we don't have a lot of ore in there, it probably means it just wasn't getting enough sun. Um, in which case we might s switch over to bio bio drills and I'm just going to have to man manage the fuel which will be kind of a pain in the neck but you know it is what it is at least we're getting um free copper now well not free but I don't have to mine it it's it's a a continual source of copper at least for a period of time I think they do eventually get exhausted but all right guys well that wraps up I think thanks for this episode is that well, yeah, that's a buffalo so I'm going to head back to the base and um, I'm trying to think we have, oh, we have more talents. Let's look at these real quick. We have one talent and I want to, I think this would be super useful for, for desert travel on and 5% is nothing but how you know adding more weight capacity would be useful too but i don't know i'm kind of feeling this one. Oh yeah that was just the saddle one i still don't understand what this does and i still don't understand what this does how does the animal graze maybe you guys will have answered that question um for me because i'm way ahead of you guys right now in these videos so i haven't you know um you haven't seen the first video that i put up where i was asking about those yet so I think I'm going to go ahead and do Relax Rider just because we are going to have to travel across the desert to get out of here eventually. And having this is going to help um, tremendously with that. Okay, and then I'm not going to look at the blueprint points while we're sitting out here in the dark. That's not very smart. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, um, I'm not sure exactly when I'll bring you back, but I will definitely bring you back in the next episode when I figure out what we're going to do next. So with that, I'm going to let you go here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we will catch you in the next episode. Quit lagging. Doggone it. See ya.